Hello, my name is Felipe Gavidan and welcome to my course Building Applications with React and SP.NET Core in which we will learn the basics of React and SP.NET Core and we will use them together to create a whole application. But we will start this course by learning React by example. Like here you have some of the things that we're going to see at the beginning of this course. As you can see here, I have this checkbox and I can change this text depending on if this checkbox is checked or unchecked. This is an example of an event. Also, we will be able to write in this text box and I will be able to replicate what's on the text box here below it. Again, that's an example of an event. Then we will see examples like conditionals. As you can see here, I have one and I have this message here. If I change that here, now I have this other UI and I can go through the different options of this select and display different UI. And not only that, but we will also learn about React Hooks. With React Hooks, we can introduce complex functionalities for our functional components. And don't worry, we will learn all about functional components in this course. As you can see here, I can click on this button and this number will get increased by one each time I click on the button. And not only that, but I am also changing the title of this page, as you can see here. After that, after we master the basics of React, we are going to create our own solution that will combine React and SP.NET Core. Here, as you can see, we have this application, which is a movie catalog that will allow us to create movies. It will allow us to rate movies. For example, if I come to this movie, I will be able to rate it. And it says that I need to log in, of course, because we will also have a user system so that we can register ourselves. So for example, let me log in and I want to show you something and it is that keep looking at this menu. I am logging in as an admin. If I press send now because I am an admin, now I have access to the admin pages of my application. But let me show you that I can rate a movie and that rating will be persisted in a database. As you can see here, the average vote is five. And we will also build pages for pagination, creation, I can create a new record in a database, save changes, and we have that record here. I can select how many records I want to display per page and things like that. And we will do the same for actors. In actors, we will be able to select pictures of actors like Robert Downey Jr. for example. And we will also be able to use Markdown in order to have formatted text in our application. This is Iron Man. Also, we will be able to use maps in our React application. Let's go to movie theaters and let me say create movie theater. And in here, I will be able to say my movie theater and I will select the location of that movie theater. Let's say it is here. And then I will be able to save this and I can my movie theater, I can edit. And as you can see, we have my movie theater here and the marker here in the map. We will also be able to use multiple selector components, which will allow us to select several choices for the genres of a movie or the movie theaters of a movie. And we will also be able to use a type ahead to select actors from our database. So as you can see, we have a lot to do in this course. We will begin by setting up the development environment. Then we will learn the basic of modern JavaScript and the basics of React. Then we will learn the basics of ASP.NET Core and we will build our application from scratch together. We will go step by step building this application. So join me in this adventure. Let's learn React and ASP.NET Core together and let's develop an application. Thank you.